Uh, welcome to Stay Home Music, Music Festival. Nice to have you. Thank you. How are you today? Isolated. Yeah. Numb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. Can you start by telling us who you are and where you're from? Yes. Uh, I'm a... Uh... I was born in Sibiu, Romania, which is central Romania. And three years ago, I moved to Bucharest mm -hmm. to follow my dreams, which is uh, uh, to uh, live out of music. Okay. Just to full-time music. Yeah. Live the dream. That's beautiful. Yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> I've just released a uh, uh, an EP. Um, three weeks ago, uh, four songs that I've written and uh, recorded while being in uh, isolation. Mm. And this song, this song speak about all the uh, things that you feel inside while being isolated, you know, frustration, um, anxiousness, fear of the future, but also I speak and sing about hope. Okay. Yeah. So, would you say you take it a little bit through the process of uh, emotions that we are experiencing? Yeah, I thought it, it's a good experiment not to just waste my whole uh, isolation in uh, on Netflix, but to create something, you know? Right, yeah. That's what we're doing here too. <laughs> um, right, so is this a new... I mean, when I talk about style, I don't mean necessarily, unless you want to, I don't mean exactly pop or jazz or whatever, but uh, your personal touch and the message behind the music. Is this a new style for you to um, to deliver these kind of emotions through your music? Or do you think it goes along what you usually do? This is what I usually do. Okay, and what is that? I like to write and sing about everything that comes to my mind. I'm not a only positive songs kind of artist mm -hmm. because life is not only positive and what we feel is not always pink so yeah. i like to sing about whatever i feel and whatever i see happening around you know that's why i have a for example a quick example i have a, a song called shadows and it speaks about the demons inside yeah okay so it's not it's introspect introspect like it's it's um, looking at yourself a bit, maybe reflective. Yeah, it's like it's like you're my best friend, and we meet for a cup of coffee, and you ask me who are you, and I'm what's inside, telling you how I feel. Instead yeah. of doing that, I write about. It. Right. And what does that sound like? Would you? What instrument is involved? I understand that you sing. I play a acoustic guitar. I have it right here. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh yeah, beautiful. And, uh, this is how I write my songs. Um, I only play acoustic guitar, so whenever I produce a song in the studio, I have friends coming over and uh, recording. You know, electric guitar, bass guitar, drums, and so on. Yeah, and now you're doing it by yourself. Yeah. Okay. But when you you were saying when you perform. When I perform in the pubs or cafes, I just play acoustic guitar and I sing. But when I go to a festival, I uh, talk to my friends and we pre practice for a few weeks some of my songs and we we'll go full band to a right. festival. Right. How is the creative process for you? I find that always really interesting when people write their own songs. Um, do you sit? and make it happen or does it come to you more i don't know i'm curious about that uh truth be told most of the most of the times i sit and consciously decide i'm going to sit here until i write a song yes rarely i find myself in a state of you know artistic uh, nirvana <laughs> where i just i have to write no i have to no it's 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 work but it's it's beautiful. You, I love it. So, yeah. but I have to sit down and say to myself, Sergio, quit Netflix, quit Facebook. Now you're gonna write a song. Yeah. 
And I usually start playing guitar and I just strum along some chords I play along. And then I start humming, you know. And then I just start writing. Sometimes I have an idea. I'm going to write about this, like I did with the, uh, the songs that I've just written a few weeks ago. I'm going to write a song about isolation. Yeah. But most of the times I have no idea what I'm about to write. And then I just start writing this. You think, I'm, see, I'm going to go on this or, or on this or that direction. Yeah, and then you pull the thread. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's, uh, in, I'm a performer, but not a, create, a creator. Um, so I'm, I'm always a bit curious. Everybody has their own techniques. And so pe some people claim that, they, that it comes to them. But I can imagine, yeah, art is not all in the clouds. You also have to sit and make it happen and, and give it shape. Cool. Um, have you already thought a bit of what you're going to perform for our festival? Have you made the selection? Or is it going to maybe happen with the interactions? I um, I always uh, prepare a playlist because I, uh, you know, I have these four songs that I've just released. But before that, I've released about 12 songs so far. Yeah. So in half an hour, I can only perform, okay. like, I know, six seven songs mm -hmm. you know so i have to choose and you know which it's like it's it's easy you know which what is the first song that you want to open the night with what is the last song that you want to close next? also uh, i'm going to perform my the songs that i've written in english not the ones that i've written in romania maybe i'm, I'm going to sing a romanian song just for the flavor of it yeah but mostly english songs of course, I'm going to perform the songs on the home ADP that I've just released because it's yeah. relevant to our current state and yeah. some of the, uh, the former songs. Yeah, yeah I understand. But I'm going, to, I'm going to write it. I have a list. Uh, it's, it helps me, but sometimes I go off the list, you know. Yeah. Not, not respected for it like, because you have actually... to be spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. And... Um, how if you had to guess because we don't know yet of course what's going to happen on the moment how would you say what kind of emotions are you gonna have the audience go through i mean or what's your intention anyway <laughs> um i know how to say it. um calmness mm -hmm. but also um me 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 melancholy yeah yeah that's okay. how you say it melancholy uh i'm not a like i've i've said this before i'm not an old positive uh singer no. i am a very positive person and uh i'm thank god i'm not uh i'm not struggling with uh, uh negative emotions mm -hmm. but at the same time i feel things like everybody feels you know yeah. frustration and fear and anxiety you know Currently, I'm uh, unemployed because I cannot perform like out in public, you know. Yeah. So uh, yes, I face problems like every other person does. So I try to to make people feel good, but not in a happy, happy, joy, joy kind of good, but in a uh, you know hope and hope for the future. You know, yeah. it's like embracing the shit that we're in. Yeah, I can say it, right? In embracing that, but you know, singing and you know, crying out your emotions, but then be hopeful for the future. So yeah, it's a mix. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understand. I think sometimes for myself, sometimes when things are not great, like right now, at all or far from great, to be overly positive is actually insulting in a way, like yeah 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 and it's more comforting i feel like when you have the space to reflect and uh yeah realize that what's going on is actually pretty bad <laughs> and then and then you have the space to um uh, get over that and come out of that yeah and face your demons or your emotions do not ignore them i mean come on we're old enough to 
acknowledge what we're feeling and fight through them, not uh, suppress them. Yeah. Because they're going to come and bite us in the yeah. butt. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. Yeah. Is there anything else you would like to tell us today? Something that I should have asked you and I didn't? Or just a message for the audience? <laughs> uh, the only message that I have, and I say pretty often, because this is, to me, this is the highlight of everything that I do. Wherever I go and I perform, and if people enjoy what they're hearing, you know, people come to say, I love your voice, I like your songs, I like, I never heard of you before, but now I'm going to check you out. This is the, the definition of success. Yeah. If you listen, and now I'm talking to you as uh, my interviewer, but everybody else who sees this clip, if you listen to my songs, or if you're going to see me performing live this Saturday, if you like what you're hearing, the best thank you is to go on YouTube or Spotify or Apple Music <laughs> and check out my songs. Yeah. And this is what I've learned from somebody said, they said, give uh, wings to your compliments. Oh, oh, it's beautiful to say good job, it's nice and it's rewarding, but give wings to your compliments, like go the extra mile mm. and do check out my songs online because this is, uh, this is my definition of success. If yeah. you like what I'm doing, listen to it, I'm, yeah. you know, I've done it well. Yeah. I'll make sure to leave uh, his details in the description down below, so check it. I'm going to send you a link. Yeah. Because I have this link where you find YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Deezer, all of them. You just click the one that you use the most. Yeah, great. I will make sure to put that somewhere where they can find it. Cool. It was great to meet you and I'm looking forward to your music. <laughs> I'll be there watching on Saturday. Uh, yeah, great to have you. Thank you so much for joining and for giving us some time now to get to know you. I have all the time in the yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, well, you used it for this. So for that, I'm thankful. thankful. <laughs> Anytime. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, goodbye. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>